I am going to put forth the goal right now of completing the Layton Trophy Cabin by the end of 2024. Now that kind of terrifies me because that means I have to stick to it, but there are only six spots left in this lodge that we don't have completed. Three on Layton and three on Hirschfeld. Layton, I think, is going to be a little bit tougher. We're still missing Black Bear, Coyote, and then Mallard. And that's why we're headed back to Layton Lakes today to try to cross one of those off the list. So the very first thing I did was I looked at the server list for Layton Lakes and there were two early morning servers and I decided to try to join those and maybe see if we could find Black Bears in the new drink times. Immediately disconnected from those, couldn't stay in the servers, and it looks like we'll be hunting them the old fashioned way. I don't know how we just did that, but maybe that's a good omen for the way the rest of this hunt will go. And for now, we're running up through the east side of the map, going through Chila, hopefully Norden eventually, looking for pretty much Black Bear and Coyote tracks at the moment. One other thing I did though, I brought Mallard decoys at the very end of the last episode here on Layton Lakes. We did try this and we ended up killing a brown hybrid, which it turns out isn't all that rare, so I definitely want to get something better. But when we go through some of the better spots for Mallards, we'll set those up, see if we can maybe bring one in and take it down with the 10 gauge. That actually is like a really nice little spot for a photo here, so quick pit stop. Get a couple of quick screenshots. And this guy is a 316 that we somehow double lung, shoulder blade, spinal cord, and vertebrae shot. Doubt we'll do anything quite like that again today, but like I said, hopefully a good omen. I like a shot like that getting us started. Is that? No way. I'm sure that was brown. Or cinnamon, I guess? Please tell me I saw what I think I saw. Yes! This is huge! It's 19 to 21. God, what a time saver this could be. If we can get a decent shot in here, he's almost certainly going to be 19 point something. He's a level 6 anyway. Really want to make sure we get a good, clean shot. Alright, 30 out 6. Probably going to try to take him on the trot here. Don't know if I love that. Do we get a final? I think we did. No way. Like, actually, actually, actually no way. <laughs> I am more stoked for that than, I don't even remember, maybe since we killed the great one? Black Bear? That's awesome. Did we get a vital hit? I don't think the 30 odd 6 kills one that fast. We absolutely did. Oh my goodness. I've been thinking about this. So, going back, I did that intro like four hours ago. I couldn't stay connected to a server. I'm gonna cross my fingers as we run up here and claim this guy. I mentioned the two servers for Black Bear Drink Time. Got disconnected from those, and I just, I went and recorded another video. I got a prep content for going to Georgia. So, coming back here, I've been thinking about, you know, diamond or rare black bear works. We well, just dropped a cinnamon. He's a silver and 19.14, but I am more than happy with that. That can go on our little kind of balcony mount. Right long shot, kind of through the back of the lung with the 30 odd six. That's going to look so cool. Arguably... Because it's a predator species that that looks the same as a level 1 or a level 9 up there, maybe that's even better than getting a diamond. That is awesome. So now we just need, from this map, coyotes and mallards. We're still going to run through here because this is still a really good spot for coyotes. But the first bear of the hunt is a cinnamon, and it crosses it off the list. We literally just crashed. Like, we killed that thing five minutes ago. <laughs> we got super lucky. So, I guess I'll try to get back into the same server. I tried to record these videos all in the same server. We'll see if we can connect or not. Like I said, we've been having issues. So what I think happened is both the host and I crashed. So, that server's gone. Like, if we had hit that cinnamon badly and we were tracking it down, if we didn't take the shot on our... That's why I do stuff like that. When it's a fairly high percentage shot on, like, a trotting animal, multiplayer does weird stuff. Sometimes you just got to go for it. So we join another server. It is 1800, my thought being, while we are going to have to hunt at night some. Kind of close-ish to coyote drink time. Might as well give it a shot. And we'll see what we find between now and then. That's a pretty decent looking buck. Just a nice size four. And I guess this is kind of going to be what we're doing for a bit. Coyotes will feed, if I'm not mistaken, in this time frame. So they may be a little bit more active, a little bit easier to potentially run into. But I think we're going to be kind of just running around, maybe looking for opportunities to improve on some of the other stuff that we have in the trophy cabin. 
up until Kyo Drink Time starts. The other interesting thing, I mean, we're kind of good on Black Bear now. If this server doesn't have the new Black Bear times, Black Bear gonna start drinking very soon. So I guess, you know, we can look anyway. And maybe even in the meantime, while we do have a little bit of light, we might go and try to set up our Mallard decoys. So, almost a 150 storm black tail, like a solid looking buck. Got the same frame size as some of the diamonds, just a little bit, you know, smaller and shorter tines. Anyway, oh, we hit him in the neck. That was an accident, I kind of wondered why he dropped, but that makes sense. So, go figure. Didn't even get the decoys out. We've got a max weight estimate level 2 piebald, 18 to 20. Piebalds are so common that the only way we'd mount one is if we'd get a piebald diamond. But you never know. Level 2 diamond mallards do happen on occasion. We might as well pop that one just in case. And it's amazing how quick we run out of light. Already past 1900. 18.28, so definitely not going to tax that guy. Decent looking bird, but like I said, there's just so many of them. Even I think the brown hybrid that we have, I think he was barely a gold 16 something, is probably a little bit better than that. You know, it's slowly occurring to me that a good chunk of hunting on Leighton Lakes now, at least for the trophy cabin, is literally going to be this. Looking for coyotes in the dark and hoping to spot them in the distance. We've got a level 7 out there, so we've got the 22-250. Gonna go ahead and try to get him down at that. Looks like that'll get him. Kind of interesting it was only three. I'm guessing there could have been other ones. I, I do think there are packs of coyotes that only have three, but typically it's five or six, I believe. And I guess the good news is it was just a pack of three, so it didn't miss out on anything. This guy is a 51.01, and I guess kind of a good sign at least, as we nearly missed the lungs, that we're at least able to find some not during their drink time. Now, that said, this feed zone ends at 2,000 hours, which that probably explains why they were starting to walk away. I don't know what they do between now and midnight, because they start drinking at midnight. I hope it's feeding again, but that we may have to find out for ourselves. Well, wouldn't you know it? Got a level 3 white tail out here, 227 to 268. That's the smaller rack. If I remember correctly, we've had two diamonds and an albino in this series. So we could consider, I don't know if I want to take down the Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk, but if this guy makes it, we could actually consider a Huddle Whitetail mount and still have a Whitetail on the wall too. There's actually a really nice two there as well. I can't find the three. Gonna drop him, because maybe moving things around is gonna help. The two's got a chance. Where the heck did that level three go? They're all running around. There's another pretty big two. I can't imagine he's further up. He's got to be one of these ones that's still running up here. There he is. Okay, this could work beautifully. Literally run right up here to us. Going to cut the light so we can see a little better. Get out of the way. As soon as he comes up past that tree. Might even zero for 75 instead. Two for two and they got to be like pretty darn close together. This is turning out to be one of the better hunts we've had for the Leighton Trophy Cabin ever. Curious what's going to happen with the two of them. Because that the level two was what, like... Five lower estimate? Oh, they're literally- no way. <laughs> they're literally laying in like the exact same spot. I wish it wasn't dark out. Interesting day. Really wish we could keep the light on too. We've stopped for screenshots twice. I mean, it is basically the same rack. I'm thinking this is probably the two. It is, and he's a 250. So close. Not quite I'm a little far back too. Falls about 4.2 short. See if the level 3 fares a little bit better. That guy's going to make it just barely at 255.57. Double lung, liver, stomach a little far back, but not as much as the first one. So let's tax him. If we decide to do the huddle whitetail instead, at least we have that opportunity. I still sort of like the idea of having one species that's not on Leighton or Hirschfelden for that lodge in the Diamond Rocky, but... There's also something to be said for all these things that we've gotten off of Leighton while hunting for the other missing trophies. I am so glad that we got that cinnamon bear earlier. I'd have been a little bummed out finding a max system that ends up being a mythical. Now, I was hoping maybe he'd turn a little bit more when we took that shot so we could get a follow-up in there. That's obviously going to ruin the gold. I gotta say, though, 
Time goes really slow when it's dark. It's only 2100, still waiting for midnight. For coyotes to start drinking, and I think we're gonna go and set up some mallard decoys and see if maybe something shows up. Also, we have another male coyote taken off down there. Probably should have paid a little more attention to the exact direction, should be able to find it. But real quick, this guy was a 22.56, he's pretty big. Like 0.2 below diamond. And like I said, just kind of glad that we already got the cinnamon earlier. I'd be a little bit annoyed that he wasn't just a touch bigger. So let's see if we can scoot down here. I'm guessing maybe somewhere in that area, probably a little further to our right. I'd say it would have to have been this one. So it's 21 to 24 and dark gray fur. Can't really be anything all that special. So I think instead of just running after him in the dark, because they are still tough to see, even if you're just right on their tracks, we'll go down here. We're going to like the starting dock and we're just going to throw some mallard decoys out. Probably that's another max weight bear though. <laughs> Can't get away from stuff that I guess it's a good thing, but all of a sudden here there's stuff all over the place we want to chase. Oh, okay. He's literally right here. He's a level seven. A little better shooting than on the mythical. And we still to this point are lucky that we found that cinnamon first. So I think this was the dark variant, 20.98. First shot was way back. I actually thought we made a good first shot, but needed the follow up, got the double lung, and now, even though we're half a kilometer away, we'll go back to that starting dock area and try to set up the decoys this time. So this is gonna be quite the thing. I, I feel like we're almost gonna have to let them land. That sounded, yeah, awfully close. Uh, if they take off, we'll just shoot one. But the problem is it's just so tough to identify what plumage type any of these things are. Cause we're essentially looking for leucistic, melanistic, or high scoring ones. Obviously level three are like a diamond too. Nice of this one to land on the dock with us. Probably got a smart since it's dark out, but I wanted to get that Mac wet estimate level two. Problem is it's really hard to locate them. So I guess we're kind of just gonna sit here and wait till he plops down beside us. I kind of think they've all landed though, and I don't see him. Like he's gotta be in the reed somewhere. The odds are he's just not going to be a diamond anyway. So I guess we'll just shoot this one. And if we can even see any that take off, we'll try to get them too. Try being the keyword, cause that went really well. Yeah, I would say probably the best thing to do is just hope a rare one or a level three lands in the water in front of us. We're just laying somewhere we can see it. Only one we got was this little guy, just a 16.96 gold. You know, I decided we're gonna go ahead and leave this video here. We never did quite make it to a coyote drink time, but it still would have been another half hour plus. And I was really excited to come back here and go ahead and place our cinnamon black bear in the lodge and maybe consider the huddle whitetail mount. I'm still not sure if I wanna do that or not. Like I said, I like the diamond rocky there. I think we're probably gonna end up leaving that. As for the bear though, gonna put him front and center up here on the balcony. It is, I think it was 19.14 in the harvest screen, 0.15 here in the lodge, 0.05 away from gold. But it's gonna look really cool up here. Spin this around so it's looking down over and I think even maybe that pose might be better. It's been a really long time coming. Oh, that looks so cool. That is awesome. We still need a diamond wild boar. I don't know why I faced that that way. I guess it looks better when we're upstairs, but in theory, at least something like that. On that side, we have the pheasant kind of flying down over the railing. We have the bear, the boar maybe looking the other way once we can get a diamond. That'll make for an awesome looking balcony. I can't bring myself to take down the diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. Just the variety that it adds and the fact that we got it during this series, actually trying to get a diamond mountain lion, I think for a black tail mount. I just gotta leave him here, but a diamond whitetail, a cinnamon black bear, pretty darn good hunt, and that, that really can shave a lot of time off of trying to complete the lodge from the latent perspective. Still, like I said, the three on Hirschfeld we have to get, but now just coyotes and mallards, probably gonna be a lot of night hunting in the future episodes here on Leighton Lakes, but that just makes it so much nicer when there's only one truly tough species. Mallards, if we put in enough decoys, we're going to get a trophy eventually, but anyway. That's for down the road, and that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.